I cut out a piece of uh, pink insulation to fit around the plug for the clean out and that's just to keep the insulation from uh, coming around the, the plug. And here where my stove pipe is, I put a piece of plywood <clears throat> nailed it to the uh, studs to keep the uh, stove pipe centered. So now I'm dumping in the insulation, the Thermix, which is a uh, chimney insulation. And uh, one thing I did, I made this little wooden funnel to help me from not dumping it all over the place. And I put a plastic bag over the chimney so I don't accidentally uh, drop some down the chimney. This is a, uh, a three gallon bucket. Now this is a US gallons. And I mix in uh, two of these. Now I like dumping the water in before I put the mix in. You can do it whichever way you'd like. Now what I've done is I, I built a little platform up here, just sort of some scrap wood, and set this old uh, utility tub on here. Now I dump a half a bag in first. Dump the remainder. Just soak it down a little bit. I got uh, six US gallons of water in here and they recommend between seven and nine. And what I do is I put the six in and then I just gradually add the remainder to get the right consistency. That's not too bad. They'd like to have it damp, but uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit more water. They say sh uh, shake the uh, liner. It works the insulation down around it.
Yeah, just squeeze that cement in there the best you can. Grab that pipe. I'm using a paint stirrer, which seems to be working pretty good. Okay, the uh, Thermex has hardened up. Basically, when I filled it up, I just uh, smoothed it out with my hand and let it, let it harden up. This was a piece of flat flashing here, and all I did was uh, cut the end at an angle, brought the corners together, and rivet them. And that way, there I get this bow that will fit over my uh, chimney. Of course, your, the top of your chimney may be different, so you might have to do something else. I'll bring that, put it about center. What I want to do is fasten it. A sharpie, a mark, and a mark here. That's where I want my uh, concrete screws. I'm using a, a 3 16th bit, and this is a hammer drill, and ear protection and eye protection. And these are quarter inch concrete screws. This is uh, silicone caulking, heat resistant. Put that around the top of that screw. That silicone's around there pretty good. I'm going to take the skirting. Take this uh, silicone, heat resistant, and I want to put it just below that line.
do is I'm going to put a screw in here. Stainless steel screw. Stainless steel. Now what I do is, is I like making a little bend in that hole in there that helps the uh, screw bite in. Done.